everyone and welcome to another episode of oh a new series of how to become started on youtube thought i was going to play minecraft for a second then well no this is how to get started on youtube get the recording software and i'll be showing you every single step of it apart from audio some audio okay so um first you want to get yourself a youtube account so go on youtube and then you want to press on that, and then you want to try and like add an account, sign out, or just get a new one. So for us, that's our link sort of thing if you want to use that. But don't always use that. Just get yeah, you probably need to. But just get a new one, and then oh, if you have a remaining one which you know how to use, just get a new one. <laughs> I've said that a lot now. And then you can just press it, but you don't have the software, which is why you came here. So, open broadcaster software, and go under this one, obsproject.com. Then, if you're running Windows like me, I press on that, and if you're running, like, Apple, like Mac, Macintosh, or Linux, just go on that. Don't press that if it's Windows, because this is new. And then, of course, you can just read out this, and it's free. Free and then of course. All you need to do is download it and then press on save or a different equivalent because I'm using 8.1. And as soon as you've done that, save it, run the run the, run the wob tube. Yeah, the little opener thing. And then you should have it under your desktop or yeah, like that. But I can't do that because I'm recording. Let's try if I can use another one. No, it doesn't work. So, and you'll have this screen, and of course it will say start recording, not stop recording. And then there'll be all of this sort of stuff. Well, you, will, you won't have any of those sources, so go on settings, then you can you just press that, so you can see where my cursor is. Encoding, have max bitrate, if you're doing 720p, put it on 8000. And just see my screen here because this seems to work for me. You can use different, maybe 44.1, but keep your code like that. Code AAC. Channel, that's the music, I think. Stereo. Oh, what did I do? I oh, don't want to change that. Um, no, don't say. And then you will have it on live stream, but you want it on file output only. And then get a file path. And then try. I I um, actually personally use a desktop, so there are all my videos in here, which I quite like because it's really basic to use like that. Because then you can just double click, press upload, go on desktop, and so on. And then oh wait, we need to finish doing this now. So hotkeys and audio, and video. So video, try and get that resolution if you're using eight, um, 720p. I'm not sure what it is for 1080, that works for me. And don't downscale it, just keep it on non. No, it doesn't show you 1080p there. FPS 30 is good, it's nice and quick-ish. Um, and also put hotkeys on so you don't have to cut the video all the time. So, for me it's shift and home start shift page up to stop because of my keyboard there's a play button on the home and the stop button on the page up and this will probably be put, cut into parts um very really weirdly and i'll show you how to do that later and then these don't really mind don't mess around with it you don't have any of these sources so press add then choose one of these and seeing as you've done that, you can right click it, actually this will come up, you do window capture, oh yeah, that does work. So, say I have my game capture properties, I can change what game I use this for. And then you can of course make as many of them as you want and rename them. And that pretty much sums up, oh wait, no, no. Oh, I said that too early. So, you meet, right, as soon as you're on, you've got all of your videos up, Please press upload. Then you just need to go and do that. And then me, of course, I just need to go to desktop. 
Yeah, you made it. So, thank you for watching that video. And also, if you, oh yeah, if you want to know what I use for cutting my videos, I use Windows Movie Paper. Very effective. I can get all of my stuff on here. And this is what I use to edit this video. Well, thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. And I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.